Welcome to another episode of Cooking in the Community Kitchen, where we cook delicious recipes and have flavorful conversations. My name is Judy Anderson and I will be your host today. And today is a special day as we pause and remember those that have served both past and present so that we can enjoy the freedoms of our country. And today, representing the Veterans Food Bank of Calgary, please welcome my friend and guest, Darlene Stoddard. Hi, Judy. Thank nice. you so much for coming. Thank you this for having me. This is so wonderful. You know, I think what I was so surprised about and only learned this last week, that the Veterans Food Bank Society is all volunteer run. Yes, yes, the none, there's none no of wages. us, there's no wages. There's nope. no wages. We all just show up and uh, we all work together. And, oh, yes. and tell me then how many people really volunteer? We have lots of different people coming in and out all the time. Like some days there might be 10 people there, there and then some days there's only maybe only two. It just depends. Like we, we have a schedule, like if you can come, great. If you can tell us approximately. Right. But some days, you know, we, we'll take whoever wants to come and help us out. We'll put you to work. And... I can't tell you exactly how many volunteers there are all together because sometimes I one day I showed up and I'm like, I don't know, I don't think I've met you before. And they go, yeah, we come on Mondays. And I'm thinking, oh, wow, I wasn't, I there, that. On I wasn't there on Monday. That's what must have happened. And they used to come on a different, they used to come Fridays, I guess. Okay. And now they come Mondays. So uh, yeah, well, lots of different people. It's just honestly fantastic. I just think, wow, when a whole organization is run by volunteers, no wages, that just speaks so volumes. Yeah. So Good. anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to kind of get right at our recipe okay. because, of course, time is, is um, ticking. <laughs> and so if I can get you, please, to make the dressing. I sure will. And maybe as you um, just put the ingredients in, we want our viewers to know we're double the recipe from what's going to be in your Good Food box. Um, just so because it really does taste delicious and that way you'll have some extra for your next salad. Oh, perfect. And you're welcome to use either the, um, the French's or the Dijon mustard okay. as well. So I'm gonna let you do that. Perfect. And I'm gonna start on the pomegranate. Alrighty. All right. So, so I think in uh, all the years that um, I have made uh, pomegranates, and um, open these up, I have had lots and lots of mess, and I'd be the first to tell you that. <laughs> Little bits of pomegranate juice absolutely everywhere. So when I was um, looking up, you know, bless Google, about what's the best way to um, seed a pomegranate, then this came up. So we are also going to include this sort of step-by-step with um, doing the pomegranate also with the recipe with the good food box so we hope that you know some of these extra little tips can really help and save you a, a big mess and a big cleanup so i have taken the pomegranate i have um, made a big slit into it and now i'm going to just put these little or put the whole quarters right in the water and then i'm going to work at just um, taking these beautiful little jewels apart and under the water, it really, it, this is incredible, the amount of less mess. So I think that that's what is, um, cooking is all about too, is that the less mess and confusion we have, probably the more willingness we are than to try a new recipe. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Right? And um, I also want to shout out to um, the Best of Bridge women for this recipe. This came from their cookbook, A Year of the Best. And um, I remember being given this book probably 20 years ago and um, just loving to make this, um, this salad. It's a good one. So I've had it before. You have? Okay, yeah. so tell me now what you've got, what you're putting so in So now dressing. I've got the olive oil in and okay. I have the red wine vinegar and next I'm off to the maple syrup. Okay, yeah. perfect. And then we're gonna go with the mustard after All that. right. Well, this is just um, wonderful. And so now both you and your husband actually volunteer then yes. at the food bank. Yeah, um, I had wanted to do it for a long time, but as, when I was working, I was just never find the time and being a grandma and all that other good things. Um, but then when I retired and I kept saying, oh, I got to do this, I want to do this, I want to do this. And one day, I don't know where I was, I was coming home and I thought, you're going home and you're going to find that phone number and you're going to pick phone up and, and call. Wow. And I did. I called on a Thursday and I came on a Monday and I've never, I've been here for almost four days a week, almost every day. Oh, every that week, is I mean. just yeah. so amazing. Yeah, it, it's, it's, I love working there. The people are fun to work with. 
And the people I meet is actually why I really work. Yes, yeah. exactly, exactly. Yeah. Now, I know that um, you said you had 170. Yes, approximately um, that, yeah. About that, yeah. Um, veterans registered. So tell me a little bit to the dynamics of these new veterans that are coming. Our veterans are there because I don't. I don't actually get to you know have them sign in or, or whatever. I get to meet them afterwards. But there's um, different veterans that come. A lot I think I was more from Afghanistan and Iran. Right. I think Iraq, 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 Afghanistan, and Iraq. So those. So there's lots of younger people too. Right. It's not just older people, which we think. I think I of my granddad. Exactly. But it's not. Exactly. Yeah. There's. It's young, and they've got families, and I've met their families. And when people donate, and just even last week, some lady uh, brought us, uh, she said, I have pumpkins. I go, wait a minute, do I need pumpkins? You know, I'm thinking, I got yeah. kids, yeah. You know, so I was like, yeah. And I remember calling the lady going, hey, I have two pumpkins for your for your children. You know, would you like to come get them? And she was there like within an hour, <gasps> oh, you know. Oh, my goodness sakes. So I like to, when I know the people, is, as you get to go with them and yeah, get to meet them, you get to learn more about them. That's yeah, I like right. to know them by name, and I like them to feel comfortable when they come in, right? And I love that, that it is a small enough setting that you can call them by name and ah, create exactly. that relationship with them because I think that's what everybody needs right now, yep. if not, is or to be in relationship and to have people think that your name and who you are is important to them, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, so. exactly. I like it when they call me and they say, hey, Darlene, you know, is this Darlene, you know, or yeah, whatever. Yeah, exactly. Or, you know, sometimes they don't remember your name and they go, I can't remember your name, dear. I go, can you remember Darlene? And they go, yeah. And I said, well, then you'll remember my name, oh, it's Darlene. Very you know? good, very yeah. good. Well, that's just um, incredible, it really is. We'll get back to the rest of the recipe in a moment. But first, I want to quickly share something with you. Here in Alberta, one in 10 families struggle with food insecurity. That means 10% of our population has to make the hard decision between whether to pay their rent or buy groceries. No one should have to make that choice or wonder where their next meal is going to come from. The Community Kitchen started the Good Food Box program 20 plus years ago. And for as little as $25, anyone can purchase a 20 to 25 pound box of fresh fruits and vegetables for their family. The savings that we are able to provide, thanks to our produce partners, is about 50% of the price you would pay at the grocery store. But unfortunately, that sometimes still isn't quite enough. If you would like to make a donation and gift a good food box to a family in need, visit the link in the description below and make a donation today. Help us make sure that families in Alberta don't have to choose between paying their rent or paying for groceries. If you would like to learn more about how you can purchase a Good Food Box for yourself or someone you know, we will also have a link to the Good Food Box program in the description below. On behalf of everyone at the Community Kitchen, thank you in advance for your generosity. Now, let's get back to the show. I know that with the community kitchen, um, our programs could not run without our volunteers. That is just a given. Yeah. So um, the dedication of people to volunteer and do it on an ongoing basis is just, it's, it's invaluable. It truly is. I've, uh, and the volunteers that I've, we've met there, the, you know, lots of them, they become your friend. I'm gonna give this a shake. Sure, Katie. absolutely. So I also put some mustard, and I chose to put the Dijon mustard because okay. I like a little bit of a the grainy texture. The grainy perhaps? texture part, okay. yeah. And uh, oregano too is in this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Well, that's. Yeah. So I've met some really nice people, and we've become friends. So you know, you meet them, and you go out for dinner, or you meet up somewhere, and when when you can, how it works from COVID, whether it's outside or inside, right. however. It works. Right. But it is again about that relationship, and you know that they're not just then. Um, a person, they are somebody that you care about and yeah. you want to journey with them um, to provide everything you possibly can. I think also what's really interesting is the whole idea is that they are booking an appointment yep. and actually coming and shopping. They get them. to come in and pick whatever they want. 
you know, the, the, re the shopping aisle is there. We have everything from cereal to soup to cleaning supplies to the different spices that you need or the olive oil, whatever you right. need for different things. And they can come in and they can pick whatever they want. Now, if they can't, uh, maybe they're not feeling well or they don't have transportation, they can give us the list. Oh, okay. And we can go down the list, write it down. And, and you know, sometimes when I was getting to learn more about the food bank, I would actually go into the aisle and I go, okay, so, okay, do you need any cereal? And I go to the next one. Do you need any peanut butter? And, right. you know, things like that until I got to know the aisle. And then you get to know the people also. That's right. On what they like sort of thing. So having a personal shopper, how wonderful. That's, that? yeah, that's it, the personal shopper. Boy, oh boy. And then we also have volunteers that, um, that do our deliveries. So we just call them up and say, hey, I have two deliveries or three deliveries. And they'll go, okay, sure, I'm I'll see you by, by one. Yeah, I'll be there by one o'clock. Or some of the times, even our own volunteers will go, I'll take them home. Or, you right. know, someone showed I up, off I can drop way. it off my way home. Yeah. Oh, well, that is yeah. just absolutely awesome. Oh, it looks pretty good in there. So that. it does. I think I'm going to just pull out some of these little bits. The little because, white part. Uh, the little white parts, because they might not um, exactly enhance our salad. But I'll tell you. All things being considered, I don't have much of a mess. No, so you don't. I'm, you did pretty I'm good. I'm kind of impressed with, you know, <laughs> if we're supposed to be impressed with ourselves, well, I guess um, today I'm feeling like You're that. doing good. That's pretty yeah. good. Mm -hmm. And so then I'm just going to um, drain off the water. Another thing about the Veterans Food Bank of Calgary, they also help with different things too. Um, you know, if you need help uh, for housing or, you know, setting up your... Um, your heating and maybe you've come into a little bit of a problems right there they can call in and, and ask for help that way right and this we assess it and i don't personally assess it but they assess it and see you know can we help these people out or who can we contact to help them out right, right? right. there's because there's lots of there's lots of help out there it's just us knowing who to call that's right and yeah. i think that that is the biggest problem is that lots of time when people call we don't have all the answers and we don't but um, then sometimes you know just that little bit of due diligence about well, I can't help you, but I know that I'm not going to give up until I find the answer yes. or find the connection yeah. to you is also pretty important. Yeah, because not only do people drop off uh, food at the Veterans Food Bank, they drop off appliances, they will drop off um, dishes, clothing. Clothing is a big thing. We have a big area for people to come in and they can just, it's all nicely clean and it's hanging up. We have ladies, men's shoes, hats, everything. You can just come and get what you need. If you need pants, come get some pants. Yeah. Well, I think maybe after the episode, we'll have to get our personal shopper on uh, <laughs> on my grocery list and uh, and maybe a whole new wardrobe too. There you knows, go. Right? Yeah. So we have finished um, um, breaking up the pomegranate. So I think you will see that these jewels do really. Uh, they look like jewels. Mm. They do look like jewels. We'll have a little taste. I think they taste pretty good too. Yeah. Well, um, now I know you haven't been here before, so I'm going to tell you my little salad um, trick. I'm watching the bag, so that's know, what I'm like. I'm I trying know. to figure this one out. It uh, this started many, many years ago with a uh, with a friend serving salad for a hundred. Okay. Um, at a great cup party with a large black garbage bag. Okay. And uh, so you know, since it's only you and I, I thought maybe uh, just a smaller one will do the trick. Yeah. Obviously not with Febreze in it. No. So. I'm going to just use my hands and put in um, a lovely bunch of greens. So this is a mixed um, spring greens. Okay. And in the good food box, there will probably be both spinach and um, lettuce. So we'll just do that as a combination. Got it. I didn't also realize that Sobeys uh, carries this brand that's also lactose free. And uh, so Oliver, our videographer and myself are both eat lactose free and gluten-free. So now we have um, found perhaps a new, uh, new friend. So I'm going to just add the feta cheese into here. Um, in our recipe as well, it uh, shows as an option to do roasted pine nuts. Oh, okay, yeah. And I think because that nuts tend to be a little bit, um, perhaps, you know, uh, with people's diet and allergies, etc., sometimes that's not the best. And so I think that that if you, your family or your, mm -hmm. whoever you're serving to, if they like uh, pine nuts, absolutely. Absolutely, you should nuts. add them in whatever's worked for you. Um, or if you've got uh, pecans or whatever, it's going to be all good. Oh, I bet you candied pecans. Candied pecans <laughs> would be really quite lovely in yeah. this as well. So we're going to do that. We're going to just add our dressing. 
thank you so much no, for making this. No, that's good. This looks pretty good. And uh, and we're gonna just. And it looks pretty interesting. Yes. I've never made my salad in a bag. Exactly. So. I know all the things that you learn when you come to. And the you know, sometimes you kitchen. can't. You don't have a big enough bowl for I something, know. right? And then sometimes it's just really, really hard to uh, get the dressing all over. All it. over it. And so this is this is the new trick. Oh, I am. Um, I'll take this one home. Well, you know what? I think also we never want to stop learning, no. right? And so this will be maybe uh, our learn for the well, day. Well, next time somebody tells me they don't have a big enough bowl, I'll go, do you have a garbage bag? I know. So we're just going to platter this. And it even, you know, has a little control over what you can do. We'll just put it around like that. So I think we'll maybe oh, that put looks pretty good. Uh, these on top. extra. Absolutely. Put some of these little jewels on the top. And sometimes if I'm um, also serving, I will even put the pomegranate here on the side so that people know what the ingredients are. I don't know, Judy, that looks pretty good. And so I think we're gonna, <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll have a little taste. Absolutely, obviously. yeah, absolutely. Right. Perfect. Well, I think that uh, it is my privilege to be able to just dish you out a little Perfect. bit of salad here. Yeah, that'd be great. And then you know what? Let's just see what those first kind of bites are going to taste like. Thank you. Now, well, I asked, you know, they say in a restaurant, let's have those first couple okay. of bites. Okay, see what happens. See what, uh, see what our flavor buds are doing there for us today. Mmm. I don't know. Pretty Tastes tasty, pretty good to right? me. Mm -hmm. Pretty tasty. Mmm, exactly. I love, I love pomegranates. It makes me think I got to go to the store and get some. I think so. <laughs> And they're so festive, and they look amazing dried as well. Mm -hmm. If you can make a wreath or whatever. I have to say, I was out shopping on the weekend, and I saw they were already in a container because you can buy them yes. already done or whatever. And I'm thinking, oh, those look so good. You That's know. right. Get out my glue gun, and yeah. away I go. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, exactly. Oh. Everything just it just all goes together so well. It really does. All yeah. the beautiful flavors and the cheese, and mm -hmm. and um, so I think I just want to go back just a little bit to that the, the food bank then started in 2018. Yes. And Alan did share um, with me, and it kind of touched my heart, that actually the community kitchen delivered the first eight pallets of food to oh. them so that they could get started back up. They, yeah. and, or get their doors open. Get their doors open. So I thought, well, that was really cool. And so he said that he always then has a little bit of a soft spot for the community kitchen so they do because uh it's it's good that we can you guys help us and we help you and uh, and it's like okay let's call community kitchen maybe they might have something or maybe I they know, can use this right? i know so it really is it is a beautiful thing and um i i will share just briefly that when my stepdad passed he had been a veteran that um instead of flowers and whatnot we asked people to donate then through the community kitchen um, t so that the the funds would go to the Veterans Food Bank. Right. And uh, we've raised a really lovely amount of money, oh. and we've been able to give them um, not only fruits and vegetables from the community kitchen, but then laundry soap and coffee and all yeah. kinds of other Everything things. Everything so, that we all need. I know. So it was just a, a really, really beautiful partnership. And I also just uh, want to talk a little bit about then the property up at Hagen, Hagen, Alberta. Hagen, Alberta, yeah. right. Yeah. Just north of Carolina, right? Yes, I believe I believe that's right. I've been there once, and uh, but um, I talk to Ray a lot when he comes in. We, he tells me what's going on up there. Right. They've been putting cabins up there for our veterans to go up and use. You get back to nature. It helps with the healing process. Right. I I know they're reaching for 20. I'm not sure if we have 20 yet, but I know they're getting closer up to that point and from putting beds in and, and right. think things that they want they never really our veterans never want always a lot right. they really just want the basics and just it's a place for them to go to go fishing or just to get back to back to nature back to nature back and to that just, healing part and maybe just to also have a time away from the hustle and the bustle and the oh, noise yeah. of the city too and yes. just have that peaceful peacefulness i know that caroline uh, area is one of our favorite places to camp so i can relate to just getting back um, just, you know, turning everything down yeah. and just uh, letting our bodies soak in all of the beautiful sights. The beautiful sights, yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's a river that goes through there. They can do fishing and 
It's, it's just, it's a really nice area. I have not been out, um, I went out early in the winter, or I shouldn't say winter, it's spring. And even the one person who was there, him and his dog were out walking around. And I mean, we didn't even see them. It was just get away from nature and, and just go out down right. by the river or whatever. But look, it, it is a very nice place. And Ray has done a great job of, of uh, getting it off the Perfect. ground. Ray and Alan. So. And I hear that there's seven cabins. They is I believe they there's said, for sure seven, seven right now, yes. We're already and the idea of um, at least making 20 cabins available. And then also that the veterans can go and have a short stay there. Yes. And, uh, and so there's a big cooking facility there. There's a oh, big okay. kitchen area that they've got in now. And so then we take some of our food from the, that's here that we get, right. and we take it up there for them to use, whether it's to make chili or soup or whatever, or just okay. to open up a can of soup, right? right? Whatever. Keeping it simple. Yes, keeping it simple, but there's this nice big kitchen for them to, to cook some good things. That's right. Yeah. And just be together. And, and be have together. That relationship again. Right? Yeah, exactly. So that is pretty Be with uh, people that, that know what you're going through. And I do know that the whole issue and uh, of mental health has been huge during COVID. Mm -hmm. And um, I love also that you said to me that you know we can't always address all the needs what what people come and yeah. ask for us but i think knowing that we've got other partners that we can refer them to that will help um, them in their journey of recovery absolutely and uh, and just to to be the best they are and i think this goes um, back to what we say here that less we forget we don't want to forget or take it for granted that these vets have served um, served our country and for us, and now it is our um, time to really be able to step up, step it up, step and, it up yeah. uh, and to help and them. It, and say it's for our veterans. It's also for our veterans, but it's it's also for our first responders too. We also help them too. So okay. we do have a room at our at our facility that they can um, meet upstairs. There's that they can uh, play some pool. They can watch some TV. They can just be together. Okay. And then downstairs we have another room where we have had, um, we can arrange for counselors to come in okay. to talk to them from there. And it's, it's a really nice room. Actually, I went in there this morning because we were had to go in for something. I thought, oh, this is such a nice warm room. Right. It's very comfortable. It's not very cold or anything yeah. like that, which is what you want. Exactly. You want it for them. So it's good that we can help out veterans plus our, our first responders, responders too. Nope, that's, that's yeah. absolutely amazing. Yeah. Well, I think we will just um, do maybe just a quick uh, toast. And um, as we look towards uh, Remembrance Day, I hope that people will go out and buy a poppy and then that um, they will take just a moment on November 11th Great. just to um, say a moment of respect or just pause for a moment and, um, and like I say, just remember the people that are s still serving uh, past and present and that we will be mindful that we don't want these people to be forgotten. That's and exactly do yeah. whatever. And I know that um, on your website you have a place there where people watching can donate. They can. They can make an online donation. Um, we do it online. They can come in and write us a check or bring us cash, whatever they want, gift cards, uh, food. You can bring in food. We're there. There. Just give us a call and we will well, we will let you perfect. know the, the address and the door, uh, what time we're open and can come on in. Well, that's perfect. And, and it, if you want to volunteer. Oh, yes, right? exactly. And if, if you, you want, want to volunteer, volunteer. Well, exactly. So. Well, that's perfect. And I also love it that the philosophy is very similar to the community kitchen in that it is a hands up program hands up. instead of a hand out. Yes. So anyway, well, I thank you so much for thank being you. my guest and for um, just volunteering, how amazing that <laughs> is. And thank you so much for oh, serving the thank veterans. Thank you, thank you for having me. You're so welcome. Hi, I'm Sunday Nordine, CEO of Community Kitchen. Thank you for watching this episode of Cooking in the Community Kitchen. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you never miss a recipe. And if you'd like to learn more about our programs or would like to make a donation, please visit us at ckpcalgary.ca.